In today's video, we are going to be comparing two unique and characterful breeds, the Brittany and the Corso. Welcome back to the Fenrir Brittany Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Franny and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. Everything we do here is dedicated to helping you find the perfect breed for you and then helping you become a high level canine leader who can raise the perfect canine companion. If that sounds like you, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to make sure you never miss another upload of the Fenrir Brittany Show. So let's dive into today's video and take a look at the key similarities and differences between these two distinctive breeds. First, let's take a look into the history of the Brittany. The Brittany was first bred in France in the province of Brittany. They were used for their pointing and retrieving skills and they excelled at smelling out and hunting down birds. The first documentation of the Brittany can be traced back all the way to paintings and tapestries from the 17th century. Brittany's were first known as the Brittany Spaniel, however in 1982 the word Spaniel was dropped from their name. In 1907 a French breed club was formed and was quickly followed up by the first breed standard in 1908. The breed was first recognised in America in 1931 and in 1934 the American Kennel Club added the breed to their list of recognised breeds. Today the Brittany is the smallest of breeds in the gun dog category. The Corso, also known as the Italian Mastiff, originated in the region we know today as Italy. The breed was originally a war dog in the Roman Empire and they were a jack of all trades. They would help herd the animals that the armies travelled with to feed the soldiers and they were also used in the battles themselves in various ways. After the Roman Empire fell, many of the soldiers brought Corsos home with them, so the breed went from war dog to farm dog and a big game hunter. The Brittany is a medium sized breed with a gorgeous coloured coat that sets them apart from other similar looking dogs. They come in orange and white and liver and white coat colours. Both male and female Brittanies stand at 17 to 20 inches at the withers and weigh between 30 to 40 pounds. They are strong looking dogs that always look alert and have a medium sized skull and a medium sized muzzle with triangular ears that are set high on their heads. They have strong legs, a deep chest and a short back. Brittanies usually have amber or hazel coloured eyes and an eyebrow which is expressive. Their body length should be the equivalent of their height. Brittany's have a dense, flat or wavy coat that should be brushed twice a week to ensure their coat stays clean and free of tangles. The Corso is an incredibly muscular breed with a square head and jaw. They typically range between 120 to 150 pounds, but as the breed was only recently accepted into the AKC in 2010, there is still quite a bit of size variety in the breed. They have a short, double coat that sheds twice a year and comes in a wide range of colours from fawn to black to various brindles and many others. They are the most lean of the Mastiff family and are extraordinarily athletic in all of their movements. Some Corsos will be more of a typically Mastiff appearance with heavier jowls, slower gaits and more stocky builds, while others will have a more refined and graceful appearance. Again, this is due to their relatively new status as a registered breed. Hey guys, really quick message. I just wanted to let you know, if you're struggling with any kind of behavior with your dog, I have a completely free course called The Principles of Canine Behavior, where I boil down all of my experience, skill set, and knowledge as a canine behaviorist and some of the most important things that you need to know. Again, it is completely free. There'll be a link in the description box below if you are interested. And if you are, I can't wait to speak to you over there as well. The Brittany is at heart a working and hunting dog and has a tremendous amount of stamina, speed and character. By nature they are an energetic and active dog that loves to be kept busy. They make wonderful family pets and companion dogs for people who tend a more active outdoor lifestyle. They will be great company on long walks, hikes or bike rides but you could also get them involved in dog sports like agility and fly ball as they would thrive in these and it would help meet their energy requirements. When training your Brittany, it's important to get a head start and carry this out as early as possible. They have the ability to be well-rounded, obedient dogs, but this comes with work and excellent socialisation. A Brittany that is not well-trained in early life has the potential to run off at the sight of anything interesting in the distance. Fortunately, they are very intelligent dogs and are usually easy to train. The Corso is usually very eager to please and is generally considered fairly intelligent. Corsos are fairly easy to train because of their relatively high energy levels as they are quick to act on your command and willing to exceed at high levels of obedience or formal training work. The Corso is very eager to please but they can be stubborn and willful, especially from years 1 to 4 and throughout the rest of their lives. Brittany's are a popular and an excellent choice for people with families because they are very gentle dogs, especially when they are around children. 
but their high energy levels can sometimes overwhelm small children. Horses also make wonderful family dogs. They are extremely affectionate and are happiest when they are being near or physically touching you, with the rest of their family close by. They are prone to separation anxiety because they do bond so closely with the person who primarily feeds and trains them as they don't always do well by themselves. In most cases, as long as you are seen as their calm, consistent leader, both breeds will look to you for guidance in any situation. Brittany's will also get on well with other dogs, especially if they've been well socialized as puppies. You must remember though, this breed is a hunter and you must take into account their strong hunting instincts and take care when they are around smaller pets and animals. If they grow up with other pets and other animals, they are usually fine, but they may still feel the need to chase off any stray cat that crosses their path. To summarise, the Brittany is a breed best suited to highly active owners who enjoy the great outdoors and can offer consistent hands-on training. On the other hand, the Corso is an ideal choice for anyone looking for an affectionate, loyal family guardian. Finding the best breed for you, your family and your lifestyle is really important and I definitely suggest doing plenty of research before bringing a canine companion into your home. Knowing more about your chosen breed will definitely help you in caring for them and giving them a happy and healthy life. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button, get involved in the comment section down below, and don't forget, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe as we have two dedicated Brittany videos coming here every week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on another episode of the Fenrir Brittany Show.